I know. So just about sunset. Excuse me. There's a, the moon rising and the sun setting. I suppose I should give you a look on. But, uh, there's the moon rising and, and the, I guess you could probably get the idea of the sun setting. The sky, I doubt it comes through on this, but to my eye, the, the sky is kind of blue. And then a little bit of a purpley, and a little sort of light blue, baby blue, white. And then it's getting kind of darker blue back here. And that darker blue is matching the tops of the tree, trees that are kind of yellow and orange, sort of fire color. I'm sitting here on the lawn between the two. have a very clear sort of dharma wheel kind of kali dance sensation there's some geese just flying overhead now a moment ago or just before i hit record there's a flock of ducks on over we may see the bats make an appearance this is just about the time <clears throat> i can see the birch uh, behind me here, and the black locust here, facing the beaver lodge, the tori and the great birch, and the labyrinth over here, and the sweat lodge, and the fire pit, and the cottage over here. And I'm feeling very aware of the spiralings in space, the arcings, the rotations, the revolutions. And so I'm just going to see if I can access my own stillness. <coughs> I'll see if I can heighten my awareness of everything hurtling through infinity. Of course, I know that even the things that seem still are vibrating and also hurtling, but... So I invite you to join me. Try to find some stillness. The stillness is the source of any movement, every ment any mo mental movement, any physical movement, any emotional movement, so... It's hard to sort of become still. You can at least get a sense of where the stillness had been. You know, trace back the manifestations to find the mother. <clears throat> so those of you that had the lesson of the, uh, the muddy water or the, the turbid tea cup, the, the lesson is that uh, I'm not trying to become still. I'm just trying to tune into the stillness. sense of the, the the sun and the moon this way but my microcosmic orbit this way and the sun and the moon this way and the microcosmic orbit this way
And where is the self in this space? Is the self in this space the stillness? Or is the self the movement? Is there self in perfect stillness? Or have we ventured into the land of no self if we discover absolute stillness? I'm trying to regard myself in the context of space. And that could be personal space. It could be the space that I feel kind of in the lawn and have a sense of space since I'm sitting on the lawn, kind of the lawn goes to the end of the lawn. It, it, it's a lawn, of course, I guess by definition is essentially kind of a green context for not much else. That's really the border of the lawn that gets defined more than the lawn. So for me, the, that space kind of feels like it goes to that tree line, and, you know, to that structure and then to the pond so forth and for most of us our personal space has this uh, uh, varying uh, ness for more on that seek out Maria Barrett but of course the space could be the sort of outer space kind of space, cosmological space, which of course I'm very much in mind of with the sunset and the moonrise. I do <clears throat> presume you're going to be able to hear some of these early night sounds here, maybe enjoy them in the meditation. So let's see if I can be a little bit less talky here. to access of experiential sense of self within the context of space. some tree nuts falling, a coyote off in the distance, 
some uh, crickets, I guess. Give you guys a little look around, perhaps. There's uh, the end of the sunset there. And uh, looking around north here on the property. There's the moon there. <clears throat> little, the little uh, light that I'm kind of making flicker by moving my finger and hand. That's uh, the camera that I'm time-lapsing the moonrise with. There's actually a, another camera going, time-lapsing the sunset. So... Finding a sense of the still self within the context. Of the moving, maybe the grand movements, maybe the grand machinations. I guess I'll give you a little bit of the moon and we'll sign off. But I would like to say thank you for joining us yet again.